All right. Welcome, everybody. We are uh... <clears throat> cool. All right. Welcome, everyone, to our boot camp. We do this every week, Monday nights for new people from 9 to 11 p.m. Um, hopefully, it won't take two hours, but it's um, you know where we carve out some time so you guys get a chance to know me and for you guys to get an idea what's what's training look like, okay? And um, so I'll give you a real good idea of that, I'm sure. All right, good, I've got this recorded. <laughs> so um, I'm gonna immediately ask for, for a little bit of forgiveness. I'm, we were supposed to fly back from Tampa, Florida um, yesterday. We were supposed to get in yesterday evening, but um, we were flying in, uh, through Charlotte, and so we couldn't land in Charlotte for, like we were circling for an hour, and then we were running out of gas. We went to Columbia, South Carolina, and then they finally cleared us to land, and of course, we missed our connection to Dayton. And so we had to spend overnight in Charlotte. It was not a lot of fun. We had to like, like we didn't have our luggage, right? So we got to a, found a hotel, we got a shuttle from the hotel, and then, you know, we we're hoping to like order some pizza, but then so many people were stranded. They didn't have drivers to deliver pizzas. So we we're left with getting chips at the, at the choice sweets, uh, you know, little snack thing. It was pretty funny. So we finally uh, got, uh, got home today, this early this afternoon, but it was pretty crazy. And I had probably 15 different, 15 different interviews to do. And, um, so my staff covered a bunch while I was in the air. Anyway, it's been kind of a crazy night trying to catch up and, but it's good to be back on the ground <laughs> and back home. I'm still in my clothes because I had oh, so many things to do when I got back. So I'm still in my like clothes that I, I kind of slept in last night. So, so forgive me if I look a little disheveled, but, um, but I'm very fired up because you guys are on this call. <laughs> And so uh, I appreciate y'all being on, wanting to learn, wanting to get started. And I'm, I can't be more excited to get you started. Um, what I was doing down um, in Florida was I was at Treasure Island at um, kind of a special leadership thing for people that um, Andy Albright got together. It's probably about 30 of us. And he hosted the whole thing. Um, he spent like 2,500 bucks in our rooms and he paid for all the food and it was just more get our minds right on on the business. And um, he actually had me there. He had, a lot of people he had there were like people that did average 40 appointments a week and are, you know, have high production and then a few managers like myself and um, that he's kind of focusing on. And so I've come back with, you know, kind of this, you know, one of those uh, a little more finer vision clarity of vision and um, it's been really fired me up of what we can do together and uh, and you guys are really more of a kind of a you know a product of what we're trying to do to really blow up the alliance and the AB and financial group so I appreciate you all being on here um, so we got uh, who else do we have here Oh, is it? Um... Oh, man. Okay, Larry, Rocky, Paula, Hale, Hale Merrick. And we got Brian. All right. I think that's Haley. apron. Is it Hale? Haley, Haley. Haley, right? Yeah. Okay, thank you. You have to keep correcting me, man. <laughs> I'll get it right, though. I'll get it right. Haley. My name is actually Haley. People call me Haley and people call me Hale. Anyone is fine. Okay, Haley, because it looks more like Haley to me. <laughs> That's the actual pronunciation. I'm named after Haley Selassie. All right, Haley. All right, well, then that makes more sense to pronounce your name Haley. So thank you, Haley. I appreciate it. Okay. So um, anyway, things are really cooking. Like we grew last year during the, the um, pandemic. It was kind of crazy when you think about it. 
And we've got so many things that we're doing at the Alliance and so many things we're doing in our group. Um, we're recruiting like never before. You have all this opportunity. So I probably couldn't be more excited for you guys and gals coming on today because, uh, you know, it's one of those, uh, the future is so bright, you got to wear shades. Okay. <laughs> anyway, so um, let's get on with it, man. Let's get rocking. Um, don't want to keep you on here too long. I want to keep you on here long enough to to really kind of unfold the 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 training process to you. Um, we we like to emphasize simplicity, okay? We got 21 carriers. All of them have multiple products. We have 11 health carriers for Medicare. We have everything, like everything you can think of, which can make it really complicated and can make it a mess trying to get you guys started. And, you know, y'all come at different experience levels. Some have a lot of experience in insurance. Some don't have really much experience other than bad experiences from other, other groups. And the one thing that really irks me more than any, anything else is uh, people that get started with these other groups out there, they never get the help they need. And um, it's always just been my passion to ensure that I give you everything I got to help you. And one-on-one um, -on -one training, after-hours training, whatever you need, you know, I think we have some, have enough opportunities for you to train to get what you need in order to make money. <clears throat> Ultimately, that's what we want to do. Ultimately, it's getting with a client, showing them some options, getting them covered, writing that electronic application, getting it issued, then getting paid, right? And all that can happen like that, you know, as far as... Uh, you know, what you're going to experience. Um, one of the things is getting started. Um, some of these carriers don't really fully, and I think Brian had already experienced this, they don't fully, fully contract you until you submit your first piece of business. So those of you that have gotten started with contracting with us, um, they all get you contracted, but then they don't really finish it up until, and this most of them, until they receive an application. Once they receive an application, then they do the background check and the background check costs them money, right? They don't want to spend money unless they know you're serious, you know, because they've experienced in the past, they've contracted hundreds and hundreds of people, you know, that never sold anything. So they did all these background investigations. So that's what, you know, so when you don't, when, I, when you write your first app with a lot of these carriers, there's going to be a little bit of a delay for them to get your background investigation back and then complete your training and get your policy issued. Okay. So just sort of a matter of expectation there. Once you get, once you're good, man, you're good. And then, you know, we'll get you making money hand over fist right away. So that's sort of what to expect there on the, on the contracting side. Um, so we're going to try to keep it real simple. You know, we're going to try to just focus on two companies, three products, and really that's where you're going to need to get started. Although we have all these companies, all our carriers have, you know, something good about each one of them. But what we want you to do is start getting, calling clients on the phone, booking appointments, showing them options. And, and we think we really can do that like 90% of the time with uh, three products through two companies. Okay. And I'm going to show you why that is. And then the whole notion of, because we get the question all the time, well, actually, I don't know what to write should I call somebody? If I call somebody, well, how do I know what to write them up? So I'm gonna to try to clear that up for you as well so that you'll know the answer before you even ask a question, okay? Again, we're gonna to try to make it really simple for you. And then, you know, the quoting tools, how to quote the, how to quote the, uh, the client, and then how to write the electronic application. So really, that's, those are the only things you really, you know, really need to know right now is those little, details on, you know, what to write the client, how to write them, and how to get the electronic application done. Um, <clears throat> as far as um, telesales versus in-home sales, um, we do both. Now, there's advantages and disadvantages to each one. And I'm not going to, you know, tell you what my um, personal preference is because doesn't matter what my personal preference is. What matters is what yours is, right? So we have great training on each one. 
okay, now the reality, and I'm a statistics guy, as you'll come to know me, the reality of the business is that in-home sales, um, you have a higher show rate and higher closing rate. So, and it's easier to do one, one appointment closes when you do in-home sales. When you're doing telesales, the show rates are worse and the uh, closing rates are worse, but it's still good enough to make money, make a lot of money. We have a couple agents down in <clears throat> our Lakeland office down there that are some of our top um, telesale agents, okay? Um, so it can be done well, uh, but it takes a lot of skill. It takes way more skill to sell over the phone than it does in the home. So in the home, you got a lot more error. error. <clears throat> There's a lot more um, room for error when you're in the home because you're face-to-face -face with the client. You're talking to them. There's a lot of um, relationship building going on. And really, we have agents that book 90 plus percent of their appointments in the home. So really it's in how you book your appointment that really determines whether or not you can book the appointment in the home. A lot of agents are just going with the assumption that they're going into the home, you know, and they, they book the, tell the client that, hey, I'm gonna have my mask on, I'll have the sanitizer, we'll practice social distancing. I've got time on Thursday at 7 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. or I can be there, be, between 5 and 5.30 p.m. on Friday, which is better for you, boom. You know, they don't give them a choice. So that's how it's worked um, selling in the homes. But if you personally are dealing with, you know, fear and anxiety of, of going into people's homes, well then get good at doing it over the phone. You're gonna need more leads and you're gonna need more patience because you're not gonna be good at it starting out, okay? Just like a new person, not not being good right away in the home, it's gonna take a little bit more ramp up time um, doing telesales, but that's all right. You know, as long as you guys know that, then all is good. And we've got um, really well-priced leads too that um, make doing it over the phone a little bit less um, investment intensive than, um, than it could be. So anyway, without any further ado, I'm going to go over the getting started page because um, this is how you how we get you set up with us. I mean, it's just really a fundamental foundation um, to get you started because we need you plugged in. You know, it's kind of like if you all been in the military like myself, you know, when you go to boot camp, man, they get you squared away. They make sure you got all your uniforms, right? They make sure you got your boots. <laughs> they make sure you got your cot or where you're going to sleep, and they make sure you're all squared away. And um, that's, that's why boot camp is probably an uh, appropriate name for this, because we got to get you squared away before we start making you, you know, getting you up at five in the morning to do a 10-mile run, and then you're, you go to breakfast, and then after breakfast, you know, we, we will get you squared away first. So this is our way of getting you squared away, and that's uh, getting you started right. So um, some of y'all, like, I think, yeah, I think um, Raquel is really, really new. I don't think she's even contracted yet. Some of you are. So if you're not contracted yet, there's some of these functions you won't be able to do, which is okay. I mean, um, the purpose of videotaping this um, is videotaping, <laughs> of creating a video, digital video of this, is for you to watch this back later, okay? And I'm going to, you know, get you this information, email this to you. Okay, so you can take notes, um, but, but know that you have this opportunity to watch this back again, okay? So I'm gonna take you to, by the way, I'm monitoring the chat line. So should you have any questions, you know, I'll, feel free to chat at me, or you can hit your space bar to unmute and ask me questions. You know, this is really designed to, you know, be for you. So if you've got anything on your mind, um, then please don't hesitate, okay? So let's get you on the getting started page. Some of y'all might've already done this, um, but I just really want to emphasize this because I can't emphasize it enough. It's so important for you, for you to be plugged in and to know all that's going on. A lot of changes are going on and we want you to know about them. Like for example, Great Western um, one of the carriers that we emphasize getting started, our guaranteed issue company, has now made their my enroller 
a quoting tool, <clears throat> an electronic application, web, web activated. So those of you that have Macintoshes, Macintosh computers, don't um, you're pretty much stuck because you really couldn't run their stuff. You had to have a, either a PC or a or an iPad, actually, an iPad. But now they've made it friendly to um, all you Mac users out there. Okay, and um, but you wouldn't know that unless you were on our communication um, uh, channels. So I'm going to go over those with you. Okay. So this is our ma main website, um, ABN Financial, okay? And um, the Getting Started page, so all of you, if you haven't already, should have gone through here to get signed up on all the communication tools that we have with you. So you go to this um, menu item called More, then you go to Get Started at the bottom, okay? Now all the passwords, <clears throat> Just from my website, ABN Financial, it's the same. It's NAA Rocks On, okay? Um, N as a national, A as an agents, A as alliance. NAA, and then Rocks On, R O C K S O N. Rocks On, okay? I'm a guitar player, <laughs> so that's kind of where all that comes from. But now I play for the Lord, okay? So I rock for the Lord now. <laughs> um, so that's the password, and then click on Go. And this kind of steps you through our um, boot, like the communication things I'm going to get to. But, you know, it talks about the boot camp, getting signed up for the, the email blast for that, setting up an email account, <clears throat> a separate email account. So you have stuff um, going to that so it doesn't get mixed up with your personal email. Um, how to do business cards and our recommendation on business cards. <clears throat> the in communication stuff starts here, okay? These four columns here, and then these two down here. Okay, I'm gonna go through each one. The same Weber is our email blast list, so that I you'll get a chance to uh, receive anything. Like the, I communicate a lot through a Weber email blasts. I'll put attachments, I'll let you know about stuff going on, reminders on our um, webinars that are coming up, like tomorrow's webinar um, for our agency uh, that I just sent out. So click on this button to subscribe to that so that you opt in to my email blast list. All right. The Slack app is a really cool feature on your smartphone. And by clicking on this invite, it requests me to invite you on to my Slack channel. Okay. And the Slack channel is pretty good. I also communicate things that I also email blasted out. But there are other things that I do on the Slack app that, um, you know, that are really cool. I don't know, call motivational, whatever. Um, let me show you what that Slack app looks like. So get an idea. Let's see if I can bring it up. So let me share that. Okay, see that uh, that little uh, Slack, that thing right there. So this is what it looks like. And so the, la the last thing I put out there was our um, reminder for our agency call tomorrow at 11 a.m. Eastern. And then there's another, um, oh, check this out. So on Wednesday the 31st at 2.30 p.m., they're going, to, they're going to do live dials with Charity McGath. I'd really recommend you all be on that one because she goes through booking appointments, and that's one of the most important skills you could ever learn is how to book an appointment. And you can, have, you can listen to her do her thing, man. She rocks. She really rocks, and she teaches everyone how she handles objections. So that's a really good one to be on right there. And these are the things that we let you know about. Um, 
these are some of the pictures from our 4040 thing that we did. Some of my brothers, sisters in the business that were with me. <laughs> I'm the whitest guy on that picture. <laughs> some of the guys doing their thing. Some of my buddies, this is James Alaro, one of my agents out in uh, Phoenix, Arizona. He kills it. He, he and his wife, there's my wife, Jeannie, on the right. His wife, Pam, and then there's Sabrina Floyd on another agency. She rocks. This is um, all the ladies that were on there. So anyway, just uh, more pictures. We were having a good time. But I put, post that stuff up there. Um, other things. Um, reminders. This is the door knocker thing that um, Scott Mills put together for people that want to put, um, you know, um, those door thing, door hangers that they want. I mean, it's just his idea. It's not something we do, um, but he wanted to show people what his looks like. Just a lot of different things. You know, here's the thing that I put in there. Turn coal into diamonds, sand into pearls, and a worm, a worm into a butterfly, and I can turn your life around too. God. <laughs> And then leaderboards from last week. So this Slack app's pretty cool. So, you know, this is what that looks like. Okay. Now the um, the next one is the band app, and the band app has some. Um, it's more of the alliances version of um, the way that they you know send information out, and um, let me show what that looks like. And you can get you can subscribe to it and download it on your smartphone. That's the B thing right there. <clears throat> and then it's the Albright Communications. So this has other things that the Alliance sends out to us. A lot of these are motivational. Um, <laughs> this is uh, <laughs> this is a, a promotion video I did to promote the upcoming uh, May 7th and 8th um, Spring Summit. It's called Spring Summit now instead of boot camp. I'll talk about that later. Um, I did a really cool thing. If you get a chance to watch it, it's pretty funny. Um, so, and this, you know, people ask for help. Here's my buddy, Scott Mills, who uh, on our team, who wrote this nice couple up and we'd like to do selfies with our clients. Um, Here's another one, Quincy, Washington, with another client. So there's a lot of motivational things in there too. So I recommend the Slack app, okay. Um, and then my YouTube channel. So I've got hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of videos on my YouTube channel that you can check out and um, so this gets you subscribes you on it so you'll know about anything i upload which really is coming from all our webinars that we do okay our webinar schedule and so that's what this here is the webinar schedule so these are all the webinars that you should put on your um yeah it's not it has a facebook look but the alliance also has a Facebook group, a National Agents Alliance Facebook group, which we do a lot of social media because we just have to, not because we want to waste our time on it because it can be a big time waster. But there's a Facebook app too, uh, or a Facebook group, the National Agents Alliance group that you can also join. Um, here's our webinar schedule. Um, so when you click on that, this window opens up. And this goes through all our webinars during the week. And it might seem like a lot, but it, they're really important. And there, there will be time to sell, but the things that you will learn on this will help your sales become way more effective. Okay, you're gonna be able to sell more because a lot of the nuggets that you learn on these webinars. So the first one of the week is the Tuesday 11 a.m. webinar for our agency. Okay, I have a couple hundred agents. This webinar is only for my personal base shop of agents that I work directly with, okay? So it's tomorrow at 11 a.m. Eastern. All the time times that you ever see on here are all East Coast based, okay? Just because we're, you know, the Alliance is on East Coast time, we're on East Coast time. 
So we just, you know, baseline it to, to East Coast time. So Tuesday at 11 a.m. tomorrow is our agency uh, call where we recognize people on the leaderboards. Um, sometimes we'll have guest speakers, some of our top agents talk, sometimes just me. Um, we we'll, we do a lot of stuff on there. And then if you can't make these any of these, usually there's a, a link that we'll send out for you to watch it back where you can catch up on stuff that, you know, that you didn't, weren't able to attend live, you can watch later. And we do recommend that you watch them all at another time if you can't make it, because they're really, really important. You're gonna hear stuff on there that will be, inspire you. If you're thinking about quitting, you'll hear something that just makes you wanna stay another day. You know, sometimes that's all you need to hear is just one little thing that makes you wanna stay another day. And, you know, if you just stay in long enough and don't quit, you're going to make stuff happen for you because we have every type of story out there, every type of person, no matter, you know, what you are, who you are, what color you are, what religion you are. There's always someone else that has made it and have gone through the struggles you're going through right now. So if you can just hang in there long enough and listen to some of these people talk about that. Man, sometimes that's makes all the bit that makes all the difference in the world for you. Okay, so um, it's a lot of them are Zoom calls. Some of them are YouTube uh, YouTube broadcasts. Okay, um, but this tells you exactly how to log on to each one. On Wednesday, we have the twelve thirty Alliance TWC called the Wednesday call, typically hosted by Andy Albright. Although I think this week, since Andy's on the road. Uh, doing different boot camps around the country. Um, I, I think he'll have substitute um, hosts for those um, calls. So Wednesday, 1230. Then Wednesday night at 8 p.m., um, I do a how-to webinar. So this is more of a, you know, if you have a question on how do I run the quote on this product or how do I get into a VE app or how do I do this? more technically oriented, more computer oriented, but it can really be any question that you have. So you kind of really come yourself with those questions and then we can help you and anyone else that wants to sit in and listen to the answers to those questions. So that's Wednesday night at 8 p.m. Thursday at 11 a.m. I do my sales Q&A. So this is very much sales oriented. So if you've got questions on overcoming objections in the home or on the phone, um, you know, these are all sales technique type things I'm going to teach you. They're super effective and you just got to come with your questions and I'll, I'll cover them. And then I also have an agenda maybe that I'll talk about something that I think the whole group needs to work on. Okay. So I think the Thursday is a really good opportunity for you to um, really learn more about sales techniques, you know, 11 a.m. Eastern. Then Thursday at 1 p.m. is our Alliance product training call. So typically on these product training calls, we'll go over one product and dig into it so that you can get up to speed on it. We've had several new carriers lately and you know we'll talk either annuities or we'll, we'll talk Medicare or we'll talk a particular product line from a carrier, okay? So those are always good. That's Thursday at 1 p.m. And that's a Zoom call. Then Friday at 10 a.m. we have the Alliance Activity Call which uh, it's a really good call. It's like motivational. It, it tells you what the top agents are doing. It goes over leaderboards from the Alliance level. A lot of different things go on on that call. And I just highly recommend, you know, being on that one. Then Friday at 11 a.m., I do my builder's call. For those of you interested in building a business, working your, well, your way out of the field in the future, I, I teach you all kinds of stuff on these calls um, for building. On occasion, we'll have a Friday 2 p.m. Um, rising tide call. <clears throat> I'm not sure if they do that one um, every week, um, but they'll send out email blasts to let you know who's gonna be the next person on there, okay? So that is in general what we do every week. And then here's Zoom etiquette. In other words, make sure you have your underwear on. <laughs> make sure you have your pants on, please. <laughs> anyway. So, um, so that's kind of um, our webinar schedule. So I'd ask you to really put, you know, put this in your calendar. They're very important. Now, look, we don't, you know, this is an all volunteer army, right? You know, we respect your right to make your own decisions as a business owner. 
And um, so I don't take roll call. You know, I know who's on there, but it's more from a standpoint, like if I see someone on all my calls and, and trying to learn and, and they ask me a lot of questions and they're really making a sincere effort to really get this thing, I might just throw free leads at them just because I like them. They, they're just really into it. They really are showing me a sincere effort. And so I'll do more for them than someone who doesn't, who isn't like that. You know, it's just sort of, I kind of reward that. All right. So, you know, if you're on the calls and you're making and you're talking to me and getting coaching from me all the time, I'll be more apt to help you out with leads than if you don't. So it's not like, trust me, I'm not like using this to hang this over your head. I don't, I could care less if you come to any of them. At the end of the day, production is king, right? Production is king. So, you know, if you bring to the party production, I don't care if you ever show up on anything. In fact, I probably recommend you don't show up because if you start showing up, it might mess you up. Let's just keep making money. Let's help you continue to make money. And, you know, but production's king, right? So anyway, so that's kind of my philosophy on all of that. All right. So that is um, the webinars. And then find the Alliance Media app. Um, this has, let me see if I can bring that one up. Alex, there's so many apps, I know. <laughs> but it's better than game apps, you know, because we're talking about you making money. <laughs> you know what I mean? We're talking about you making money, man. And to me, that's um, well worth it. So let me share my phone again with you. So the Alliance Media app, where is that? I think that's it. Oh, that's the old one. I know it's in here. I did some messing around with this. You know how you kind of know if you got a messy office, you know exactly where everything is. I, I rearranged stuff and then all of a sudden, I don't know where anything is. This has really messed me up. I know it's on here. <laughs> I swear that was it. Huh, maybe they're revamping it. That could be. Well, we'll just move on. But you can download it <laughs> anyway. Um, so that is the Getting Started page. Okay, so hopefully um, two questions. Raquel has two questions. So you can hit unmute or you can type them out. <laughs> Either one, Raquel. Okay, I appreciate it. Good evening, everybody. Um, I really appreciate you um, showing the schedule. Uh, my first question is, so I'm, I'm pretty much stuck um, at my nine to five, which yeah. is actually like 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time, Tuesday through Saturday. So um, I guess I'm trying to figure out, you know, how to stay plugged in, even with a full-time schedule. Um, any recommendations on how to kind of yeah. get around that? Yeah, that's a great question. So um, if you get a break that happens to fall on one of the, the webinar times, um, that's great. Because I have a guy who works full-time job. He tries to um, arrange his lunch so where he can be on the 11 o'clock call or mm -hmm. sometimes he'll just put it on a headset <laughs> while he's working so he can just listen in you know so those are options for you um but if you even can't if you can't make it live then i, was, I usually send out links or the alliance will send out links to those where you can watch it later so that's a great way to get feel plugged in is by just watching all those on your you know at your own convenience 
Okay. Does that make sense, Raquel? Yes, it does. Thank, thank you. Um, yeah. That's really good to know because I, I want to be plugged in as much as I possibly can. Um, yeah, yeah I, I work for a call center, so they can like you know hear people talking oh, in the yeah. background. So I'm like, okay, because I would play it like radio in the background, but they're listening. Yeah, they're <laughs> so, listening. Yeah, they're listening. Yeah, yeah. so I'm That's like, okay, right. I can yeah. I can work with Alliance sending um videos. I guess my second question is like, you know, I'm I'm super pumped. I'm I'm revved up, and it's like you know. Um, I talked to Brenda. Brenda's awesome. She helped me with contracting. So I, I finished contracting. Oh, good. I guess my question is, what's my next step? So should I just download the apps you're showing right now? Or Yeah, this is your next step. You're doing exactly the next step, which is this right here. So all these things, the getting started part, like all the stuff I just showed you, you know, after we're done tonight to go through all this and get all this done. Okay. And then actually your questions are like perfect because let me show you where to what you're going to do next. <laughs> okay. So, um, so that was a perfect segue. So after you get this done, the next um, page was the bootcamp prep page to, to get stuff downloaded, to get ready for this call here. And um, which you may not have had time to do, but um, this is where you, can get a copy uh, where you sign up for the bootcamp email blast. So what I'm going to do when you sign up for the bootcamp email blast, I'm going to email blast out um, this video link and so on. So, and then here, listen to agents booking appointments live. So on two, on Mondays and Thursdays, we have agents attending a Zoom call to book appointments. And these are agents that do um, live um, booking. They're, they're actually booking their appointments for in-home appointments, all right? Our telesales people aren't usually on these calls because they're telesailing, selling, teleselling. Um, these folks, what they do is they book their appointments on Tuesday and Wednesday. They book, their, their goal is to book 10 appointments on Tuesday and the 10 appointments on Wednesday on Mondays. And then on Thursdays, they book 10 appointments on Friday, 10 appointments on Saturday. So the goal is 40 appointments. And so, and so we make those Zoom calls available for you to listen in. They're not all talking at once. All of them are muted, but they're, they're looking at each other. Kind of, it's like a call center, a virtual call center, where you can see agents on their Zoom cameras booking appointments and everyone's and then they, they log their numbers in, they, they, they um, text their numbers in or chat it in so everyone knows that everyone else is booking appointments. It's really kind of a motivational thing. But they unmute one agent. And so that's one agent where other agents that are brand new can listen to that agent booking appointments. So we do that every Monday and Thursday from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. And sometimes there's uh, an opportunity, they'll do some training and then sometimes the caller, the one agent that is unmuted, you know, sometimes they're running an errand or they're going to the bathroom. So when you dial in, don't freak out if you don't hear someone, you know, that the caller will come back on. So it's a good opportunity for you to really hear people making live calls on Mondays and Thursdays. And then again, the Wednesday, um, if you get signed up on Slack soon enough, you can get on that Wednesday. In fact, I might just email blast to all you guys here that Wednesday opportunity to listen to agent booking appointments, okay? So, um, and then products. This product section is really designed for you to download the product guides, primarily for CFG and Great Western. Uh, product guides are where it's at, man. I mean, the product guide has all the information on a product you will ever need, okay? And then um, where to go find the product training. And then this number five here, is how to have your alliance PIN number. Because with Cumberland Financial Group, to, in order to get into the electronic application, you need your NAA PIN number. Now, the PIN number is what you got issued when you got contracted. So, you know, for example, Raquel, when you got contracted with us, you should have gotten an NAA PIN number. That's the PIN number you use to log into CFG. Now, should you forget that PIN number, you can just follow these steps right here to, um, 
get the PIN number, all right? Then um, how to get into the e-app. So this all just kind of helps you dry run um, the stuff you're gonna learn on the post bootcamp site, okay? So after you're done here, then you attend tonight. So tonight is really more of an overview. I'm gonna show you how to get into things um, just sort of as a um, uh, opportunity to do repetition on you so that when you see it again in our post bootcamp training page, then it'll reinforce what you saw tonight. So where, what is that? So after tonight, I'm gonna to point you to the post bootcamp website. So this is called bootcamp prep the site after that you're going to go to where all the training resides is post bootcamp. So it's abnfinancial.com forward slash post boot camp. Okay. And it, it goes through five steps, four steps of what you got to learn to get out the gate. And this is very simplified. We're trying to really focus you on what you need to do. Um, to learn how to write an application and how to get out in the field. So there's a step one, there's step 2A, learning the in-home appointment, or step 2B, learning telesales, either one. It has different scripts to download. You can watch people booking appointments, live dialing. Um, so if you can't attend the live dial, I mean, you can listen to any of these agents, how they dial the phone. I even have myself on there because um, I took a bunch of old leads one time and booked a bunch of appointments. It's actually pretty funny listening to me book appointments because um, I've been doing it, geez, for so long. I can do it with my eyes closed, but I don't sound that good. And that's really the magic is you don't have to sound that good to book appointments. Okay, and this is like running the appointments using our ATM flip chart. This is our telesales approach, okay? And then I, I repeated that one thing, listening to veteran agents dial the phone here. The five steps to writing an, a, an application and then the final things you got to do. When you click here, it opens up this page here. And these are the five steps to writing an app. And, and I go through the methodology of figuring out what to write a client, okay? So when you ask me, Alex, I need help with a product, I will take you exactly through my process, which is this right here. This is how we recommend to you what product you ought to write the client. Okay, so this is my own step-by-step -step process. Okay, and um, so it'll be good for you to learn it, right? So this is, I don't know, there's maybe four hours of work on here. And then um, to really get prepared to get out there. And then our whole hope is that you would get, um, tell us you're ready for leads and then we'll get leads in your hands and start coaching you up, okay? Coaching you up, making sure that you're learning how to close sales and getting more leads and getting into the uh, rhythm of writing business to where every week you're turning business in, okay? And you're making the money that you wanna make, but it's a learning curve, okay? You're gonna have to learn it and um, and it can be frustrating, so get prepared. There are things that just don't go smoothly when you get started. Just like anything you get started brand new, things don't, won't go that smoothly, but we hope they will be, but you know, just get prepared. You know, that it's not gonna be perfect, but cut us some slack, number one. Number two, okay, call early and often. The last thing I ever want you to do is just be frustrated or lost. If you ever feel frustrated and lost, immediately when you feel that, call me. Call me, all right? I want you to call me. I don't care how late or how early or whatever. I want you to call me because I, I want to clear everything away. I'm here to help. I never want to be accused of not being there for you. I don't care whose organization you're a part of. Ultimately, you're a part of mine, right? I got the second largest group in the Alliance. And um, I don't mess around with, you know, um, not being available. I want to be available to you, but you got to take advantage of that. Okay. So I'm going to give you both my wife and my wife, Jenny, she's the lead queen. So if you're ever going to get a lead, okay, you're going to have to um, make sure that she knows you're on this call. Okay. So what I'm going to, oh, good. So what I'm going to ask you to do is I want you to email Jenny, my wife, and her email, tell her that you were here. 
it's like roll call. Ginny at N-A-A-R-O-C-K-S-Rocks.com. Okay, and then courtesy copy me at Alex at A-B-N financial.com. And then her phone number is 937-271-8298. I'm sorry, 8298. Mine is 937-554-2693. Okay. So again, Email Ginny, courtesy copy me that you were on this call. Um, just tell her no, you were present and accounted for. <laughs> and so, so she'll know that you're you're clear to receive leads. All right, that's really she she's very anal about that. <laughs> okay. Um, the other thing too that should help is to know our hours of operation. Okay, so really with Ginny, it comes down to when she sleeps. So she goes to bed at about 4:30 in the morning. So bedtime for her is 4.30 a.m. Eastern time. It's all Eastern time. She wakes up about 12.30. Uh, she's usually up and around by 12.30 p.m. Okay, or 1 p.m. So don't try to call her in the morning. She won't be available. Okay, but if you catch her in the afternoon, you can even call her at midnight Eastern time. You know, if you're on the West Coast, you're 9 p.m., give her a call. She's up. She doesn't mind it. You, if you schedule a 1 a.m. or 2 a.m., she's awake, you know. Okay, so so she she operates so outside of this. So if you go from 1, 1 p.m. to 4 a.m., those are hours of operation, okay? I know it's weird, but that's the way it is. And it doesn't matter what time zone. She goes to another time zone, her schedule will start moving towards this crazy night owl, owl schedule, okay? So my hours of operation, I'm like at 3.30 a.m. Um, to 7 a.m. is when I um, sleep. And then I do, um, I do daily church um, from 8.30 to about 9.45 a.m. So I'm usually ready to rock and roll at 10 a.m. And then, you know, I go to yeah, go to bed at 3.30 a.m. So you can get a hold of me during this these times here, uh, Monday through Friday, and then anytime Saturday. Usually Saturday, I also do daily mass. It's, so I'm usually available at 10 a.m. Saturdays. Sunday, um, I'll play at church um, on the 9 o'clock, and then I also play guitar at um, the 5 p.m. So I do it Tuesday, but I'm available too. Okay, so... Generally, that's our schedule. Um, like seriously, I'm not kidding. Like call me. Let's say you're having a panic attack at midnight. Like call me, seriously. I mean, I'm not, really, I'm not joking. I'm serious about that, okay? So did you email Ginny? Like take a minute, email Ginny right now. I'm gonna go grab some water because my throat's getting a little dry here. And, um, and then we're gonna go into some of these um, a little bit on how, um, what you're going to learn in the thing, in the uh, in the post boot camp page on writing an app. So make sure you email Ginny. Uh, I'll see how long I last because I'm uh, didn't get a got some sleep last night, but it's weird, you know, when you're in a hotel room, you. You don't have any of your toiletries. You're sleeping in your basically sleeping in your clothes. All right, so let's get um, let's get rolling on okay, so what I'm gonna do, um, I'm gonna demystify a little bit on this, on, you know, what product to write question. Okay. Alex, what product should I be concerned about writing on what, a, what clients? So I'm going to make it very simple. And I want you to 
to really not freak out because it really is this simple. So the biggest thing about this whole notion is, you know, we have 21 life and annuity carriers and 11 different health carriers for Medicare, okay? But I don't want you to get freaked out because it's not, uh, we are not, okay, one thing we're not gonna do, okay? And I want you to get this out of your head right now. We're not select quote, okay? We're not select quote where we become the select quote live in front of our client to shop all 21 companies to find the best deal. It's really not about that. All the prices are very close anyway. So it's not like someone's gonna get a major deal from a company. It's more related to the health. Like, will they underwrite them, okay? And honestly, man, all these clients are just looking. Here's the thing about product knowledge. This is such a true statement. All the client cares about is when they die, the company's gonna pay the death benefit, all right? I mean, I don't know how, how much more complex I can make it, but all they care is if they die, that the policy pays out. Now we have other sophisticated sales like Index Universal Life for tax free retirement and split dollar plans, premium financing, I can go on and on. We're starting you off simple, okay? Because the leads you're running, we don't have tax free retirement leads. We don't have, we have opportunities possibly with a certain client. But many of you will get started with the practice leads, the free practice leads, which are typically older, um, more um, direct mail leads, like mortgage protection or final expense. And then, you know, we do have all our, our very affordable lead types in final expense primarily, some mortgage protection. But notice what I've just said. I, I've been saying mortgage protection, final expense, mortgage protection, final expense, because those are a majority of our lead types. You know, the general insurance ones fall into, you know, um, general life insurance for income protection, like a large amount of insurance, or it's a whole life permanent product, okay? So real simple when it comes to product choices, okay? Our leads, when you break down our leads, we pretty much, you we have final expense leads, and then we have mortgage protection leads, okay? Pretty much, that's pretty much, you know, majority of our leads either fall into either of the two categories. So it's really simple, okay? When you have a final expense lead, the type of product we generally write on them is a whole life product, okay? On mortgage protection, it's a simplified issue term product, okay? That's really the two types of products that we're gonna use to cover final expense leads and mortgage protection leads. And whole life and final expense are usually, usually used interchangeably, okay? So the products that I want you all to focus on right now especially if you're brand new, like if you're more sophisticated, if you've written different mortgage protection products and final expense products in the past, then you know the whole gamut of products are open to you. But if you're like really kind of new and just want to keep it simple and don't get too complicated, then I'm totally recommending these three products to these two companies. So the whole live product that I'd like you to think about first is Colombian Financial Groups, choice whole life, okay? And then simplified issue term, Columbia Financial Group Safe Shield, All right? Safe Shield term. It's really simple. CFG choice whole life or CFG Safe Shield term? Now, Alex, where does the guaranteed issue product come in? Well, the guaranteed, great question. <laughs> the guaranteed issue product comes in is when they don't qualify for a CFG choice whole life, then you have to pivot to guaranteed issue, Great Western guaranteed issue whole life. That's Great Western. They're really good. And they cover all the way up to age 80. 
and down to age 50. Now, if you have a guaranteed issue client that needs to go higher, well then, you know, we got other products there, okay? But in general, if they can't get this, then you go to, you, you default here, okay? Now with the term, there's specific underwriting guidelines that apply to the simplified issue term product. So this product will not cover heart issues. So if you've got a client that has heart issues, they're not going to be able to get that product, okay? So in the case where their health is not going to allow them into safe shield term, or it just is too expensive for them because they're older, then we are going to default first to the CFG whole life product, okay? But Alex, you know, they've got a $150,000 term the whole life only goes up to 35,000 or 25,000, depending on company. I think in this case with the whole CFG whole life, it's 25,000. How are you gonna cover a $150,000 merchant with a $25,000 product? The answer is you're not going to, okay? Because if their health is that bad or they're too old and it's too expensive, then we're gonna show them another option called mortgage payment protection. And what we're going to do, or you can call this equity, equity, um, equity preservation strategy, equity preservation. What does that mean? It means we're going to buy the spouse, the surviving spouse time in terms of mortgage payments. So let's say the client's mortgage payments are a thousand bucks a month. So maybe we show them, you know, this is our like our three option grid. We show them six months of mortgage payment protection, 12 months and, and 18 months of mortgage payment protection. So it becomes buying them time, right? Now here's the, the problem is some agents don't present this properly. So sometimes agents will say, well, there's, here's, here's your quote for $6,000 $12,000 and $18,000. And that will cover your mortgage payments. And it's like, this is all I can get, $6,000 of coverage. You know, and this is like, let's say this is 50, this is 100, and this is 150 a month. They're going to not think it's worth it. They're going to think that's so little. That's why you don't mention the amount you mentioned how many months. So Joe, let me give you three options in your case, because of your age and health. And um, we believe that this is probably a very affordable option for you and Mary. So option one is let's cover six months of mortgage payments for Mary so that she doesn't have to worry about short selling the house, getting someone to come in and save her, rescue her by taking all the equity, lowballing her with an offer and Joe, you wouldn't want Mary to lose any of the equity that you have in your house, would you? <laughs> Leading question, right? No, I wouldn't want that. No, we wouldn't want that. So that's $50 a month. Now, if you wanted her to have a lot more time, 12 months of mortgage payments covered, it's going to be $100 a month. And if you want the Mac Daddy where she has plenty of time to get the best offer for your home, let's get her 18 months. That's 150 bucks a month. So how many months do you want to give your spouse um, as far as mortgage payments so she doesn't have to worry about getting foreclosed on? <laughs> do you see how I'm wording that? Does that make sense? See, this makes more sense to them because it buys them time. It's They can't outlive it either, okay? Because maybe we can get them a 10-year term, but they can outlive a 10-year term, and it might be 700 bucks a month, you know? We don't want to give them a heart attack right then and there <laughs> by, by showing them those options. Okay, does this make sense? Now look, if they can't get CFG whole life, guess what we're doing? We're going to do Great Western. So you see how simple that is? Two types of leads generally, final expense, mortgage protection. We're going to cover them final expense with whole life, mortgage protection with simplified issue term. And you can see here, that if the term doesn't make sense from age or health standpoint, then we go into mortgage pain protection. 
using CFG Whole Life, the CFG Whole Life product, to go into mortgage payment protection. If we can't get in cover with this, then we go to Great Western Guaranteed Issue again with the mortgage payments in mind. So six months worth of mortgage payments for, you know, because that's a whole life product as well. Okay. So um, you have a question, Raquel? Yes, sir. I um, was wondering if uh, any of our carriers have a product um, called uh, return of premium. So say, for example, you know, we offered, you know, a term product to a, a, a client and they, you know, outlive the term. Does any of the carriers have a return of premium type of product? Yes, they do. Um, so CFG offers 50% return of premium. And then we have uh, Americo and American Amicable and Mutual of Omaha with their term products have 100% return of premium or 50%, depending on which, you know, which product. Okay. Mm, very nice. Thank you. Yep. So, so there you go. So again, in, in the spirit of keeping it simple. Now, here's another reason why we, we quote these products, because these products and these carriers don't require email signature. All right. Now, you're going to find a lot of senior clients don't use email or they're not very good at email. And we have a lot of carriers out there will insist on doing an email signature. Again, I'm, I'm speaking from the perspective of doing electronic application over the phone. Now, if you're in person with them, it doesn't matter what product because, you know, um, they can sign the product right then and there on a paper app or even, you know, physically type in their name on the electronic application or click a box right then and there, okay? Um, so that's why we're, we want to really hedge our bets that if you want to do telesales, you still can use these products. They're really friendly to telesales. Obviously, in the home, these work as well, okay? So that's the reason why we pick these is because it's easier to work with seniors that don't deal with email, all right? So this is really the check down list on what products to take care of the client with just starting out, like I said. Now, the question's going to come up, well, <laughs> how do I know what that their health fits into, into, the, into that product? Great question. So let me show you. Um, I'm going to give you the simple answer first, and it's not in the how to write an app, okay? Again, in the spirit of trying to keep it simple. And that would be going to man. I'm getting. Uh, I'm starting to feel it. <laughs> I'm starting to feel a little. Uh, you ever had that feeling like you're getting a little woozy, <laughs> just because it's kind of a heck of a day? I'm not going to pass out. I promise. <laughs> okay. The first way to determine underwriting. Okay, so let me let me back up. I'm going to I'm going to refer to how to write an app. So this is the the five steps to doing that. Okay, we went over to know what type of lead you're working with, so we know what product we're going to choose. Okay, so step two is understanding their health issues. So what you're going to do with your client, whether you're in the home or on the phone, is you're going to fill out this health intake form. So I'm going to click on this form. Okay. And you're going to, on the highlighted questions or the highlighted areas are what you need to figure out what, if they can fit into the product health-wise. So we've got their date of birth, which indicates age, their height and weight, their smoking status. There are different health issues. Like if they have cancer, heart attack, stroke, or diabetes, the answer yes. What medications are they taking? When was it diagnosed? And the date of the last treatment, okay? Do they have any lung or respiratory issues? What medications are they taking for those? When was it diagnosed? And the date of the last treatment. Any problems with the kidney or liver? Any other problems that you have that you're taking medications for? One of the most important things you can take are medications 
on the client, okay? Because the medications are how we know what's wrong with them, all right? And then surgeries, what kind of surgeries that they've had, particularly if they had an overnight stay. This will help us and help me determine, help you determine, help me to help you determine if they fit into a product. So when you go back to the how to write an app, step three is, okay, once you have all their health issues written down, then step three is let's figure out what they fit into. Now step three is help, helps you determine among all the different carrier products what they're eligible for, okay? So we've got these great tools here, underwriting tools to help you, okay? And I'm gonna, I'm gonna point those out. So these are on this website called alliancequoting.com, okay? This is the afforded site. Okay, but alliancequoting.com forwards you to the tools, the underwriting tools and the quoting tools. So alliancequoting.com gets you to a page that looks like this. So in the top part, all the quoting tools, the software that you can download on your laptop. In some cases, some cases, it's an iPhone or Android app that goes into your phone. Some cases, it's all of them, you know. Some cases, it's uh, the quoting software that's on their website, like Forrester's. Forrester's has desktop software. They've got mobile quote software and so on. So this is the go-to page. And I would bookmark this in your, on your computer or in your phone, okay? And then here are all the underwriting resources, like the height and weight charts and the medication lists. And then we got the final expense underwriting grids here. So when you're writing a final expense, you can click on this and you, your client has any of these problems like brain tumor, cerebral palsy, chronic cough, congestive heart failure, Crohn's, cystic fibrosis, diabetes, et cetera. All you gotta do, let's say diabetes, let's click on this. This is for final expense, whole life. This tells you how each carrier that has a product in this category of whole life, how they'll handle the underwriting of that particular issue, okay? Now notice how many products you could write on a client. This is crazy. This will drive you crazy. After you've been with us a while, you're gonna be okay with this, okay? You'll start picking product because some are more friendly than others. We are not asking you to do that right now, right this minute, because you are not, you're brand new. Okay, I just want to show you that this cool pro tool exists, all right? There's also one for mortgage term underwriting. So on the mortgage protection leads, you know, how do they handle Alzheimer's, amputation, aneurysm, autism, bipolar depression? Check this one out. Decline. <laughs> These carriers are not friendly to bipolar people, all right? In general, there's some... Most of them are decline ever, okay? So that just kind of gives you an idea there, right? So that's kind of a cool um, and useful product um, or uh, underwriting grid. The other one that you're gonna use a lot is product pocket guide. Once you know that there are other products out there, okay, the product pocket guide, okay, so this goes by product category. So simplified issue term, it gives us all the products and carriers under this category. And then when you open each one up, it tells you the term levels, how many term lengths there are, the issue ages for those term lengths, the, the face value amounts, minimum and maximums. Um, this is like having the product guide for every carrier under one roof. Um, convertible, no e and O insurance is required to write it. There is an E app available three living benefit riders will accept clients without a social security number as long as they have a tax ID number. Okay, so, you know, permanent resident, non-citizen. Accepts MetaBank with routing and account number will not accept debit or credit cards, right? 
So you can go through strong foundation, that simplified issue term product. You know, they've got all the stuff to it. Okay, so that's simplified issue term. The whole life is this one. Okay, so now you can quickly, quickly see this is a valuable tool, but when you're getting started out, this will just kind of sink you in depths of depression because you're gonna think, Alex, are you kidding me? I gotta learn all these simplified issue term products? The answer is no. I'm gonna say it again, no, 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 no. I'm not gonna let you because this will paralyze you. You will do nothing because you're so confused. Alex, I'm so confused, right? So let's unconfuse you, right? And let's go back to the getting started, not the getting started, the um, bootcamp prep. Let's download the product guide, okay? Oh, and I should have had the underwriting guide on here too. Okay, I'm gonna, most of that stuff's on here, but I'm gonna show you on the arc where this is. Okay. So um, some of you already know how to get on your arc. So go into the arc. And then we go to carriers. And then here's all our carriers are on here. Let's go to Columbian Financial Group, CFG. Got to sign in again. And all the main product training and product information are right here. So I would just focus on Columbian Financial Group and Great Western for now, all right? And then if you happen to be in a state where those aren't in, I have all my, on the post bootcamp site, um, the other alternative products to learn. Okay, so the simple way of underwriting, if you have a final expense lead, okay, immediately in your mind, you should think whole life with CFG, final expense product guide. So you click this open, and this has all the information you need on whether or not you can write the client up. Okay, it's got the, age, issue ages and face amounts. Okay, it's got all the available writers on here. This tells you about, there's three products. There's Classic Elite, which is the, the best rated product. Okay, it's the cheapest because their health isn't bad. <laughs> The select underwriting is also um, a immediate benefit program, but their health is a little bit worse. And then finally, Classic Advantage is a graded benefit plan where the full benefit's not available till after two years. If they die within the two years, they're gonna pay them the, the um, return of premium plus, I think it's 6% interest. If they die after two years, the full benefit will be available, okay? Underwriting guidelines. So what I'd recommend, here's a height and weight chart, excuse me, is that you read through the product guide so you know where all this information is so you can reference it later, okay? This is medical conditions. So this helps you with medical conditions on how they would underwrite it and what type of product they would um, like advantage, classic advantage or select, you can see select or elite the medication list. So it tells you what medications will decline or what medications are acceptable, okay? It's all under one roof here, okay? So when you follow my um, methodology of, get back to it, I think it's here. Step three, using the underwriting tools, I wouldn't recommend, <laughs> This is dumb, I know. When you get more verse, and you can read through this, because this takes you through my whole thought process and the way I do it, 
because I know there's multiple products out there, but I want what I want you to do is just focus on the CFG Safe Shield and the final expense. Here's the final expense underwriting guideline. Okay, and then or you can go to Great Western. Boom. And Great Western is very simple. Okay. Does that make sense? That you can do the, the underwriting is very simple if you just you focus on CFG and Great Western. Okay. So going back, understanding what type of lead you're working with, understanding their health issues, and then from the health issues, using the product guides to determine if they fit into it. Okay. What, what, I, and my, what I mean by that is age and the amount of insurance is what they're looking for fit into what's available in the product guide. Height and weight chart, are they acceptable on the height and weight chart? Are they acceptable on the medication list? Okay. And any particular conditions, are they okay using the underwriting grids? Okay. This is all in the product guide. Okay. Does that, does that make sense, gang? That you can use this once you start getting with the other carriers, but starting out with us, stick with the product guide for CFG and Great Western. Well, Great Western, you don't need to worry about it because you know it's guaranteed issue. But CFG product guides, okay, know those forwards and backwards as far as where you can access the information, all right? So Paula asks, are CFG and Great Western available in California? Okay, so how do you find out what um, their availability? Because I put that, oh, did I? Because I embedded it in this. <laughs> it's right here. It's right here, right on this step three. It's right in this paragraph here. Products to start with. <laughs> and this is a video right here, by the way, on keeping it simple. This it's what you just heard. Okay, but I I put it in there as a video. Okay, most of you will start with CFG, final expense, whole life, mortgage term, and Great Western guaranteed issue whole life. Okay, so that's the first bullet. Second bullet, if you're in Maine, Mississippi, North Dakota, New York, Oregon, for these states, use Forrester Strong Foundation instead of CFG Safe Shield term. Okay, if you're in Alaska, Connecticut, DC, Delaware, Hawaii, Maine, Vermont, and Washington, for these states, use AIG instead of Great Western. Um, New York does not have a guaranteed issue whole life product. So if you're in any of those states, AIG instead of Great Western. And so um, Paula, you did not hear California, so you're good to go with CFG and Great Western in California, all right? So I did embed it within here, <laughs> okay? So, so that covers that, all y'all, <laughs> all right? I am trying to, see, this is kind of the crazy thing is I'm trying to leave no stone unturned. The only problem with that is that it, it just is, adds more complexity to it. So I'm trying to balance the no stones left unturned to with balancing simplicity, okay? So I, again, I can't emphasize enough, CFG, Great Western. Download the product guide. <laughs> and 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 really like seriously it, these pages have all you need in it um okay these carrier pages has have all you need in it for those two companies it's really all right here the video training on it the powerpoint training on it Okay, so I don't want you to do anything else right now. Please don't go down a black hole. For those of you other agents that have a lot more skill and um, experience, and you start asking me stuff like who's friendly to um, COPD, I'll tell you exactly who's friendly to COPD and some of these other little things like Parkinson's. Okay, for those of you, CFG will cover them as well. So don't like, you know. Okay, so that is 
how we do the you know determination of product. So the next key, um, going back to my, so that's step three, understanding underwriting, calculate calculating rates. Okay, so this is the part, this is the fun part right here. Okay, gang, calculating rates. And so guess where we go? We go to where I showed you before, AllianceQuoting.com, but I would recommend you view it on your smartphone. Okay, so let me bring mine up. Okay, so let me share that with you. All right. So I'd recommend also bookmarking the AllianceQuoting.com page on your phone. You're going to refer to that so many times that you're going to really like, want to keep that handy. So depending on what kind of phone you have, we'll determine, and we're again, we're sticking with CFG and Great Western just trying to sit down because man, I'm fading. I'm fading. <laughs> ah, all right. So if you have a um, an iPhone, okay. So here's the CFG section that we want to concern ourselves with. So you have the mobile app for FE, which is final expense, the whole life, and mobile app for term. Okay. Now, this is the funny thing. They use whole life and final expense interchangeably. So just don't let that freak you out. It's just how it is. Okay. And then notice the password needed. So the, for the final expense calculator, it's alliance, all lowercase. Then for the term, it's CFGSIT. Okay. CFGSIT lowercase. Okay. So if you've got an iPhone, let's, let's start with the final expense. So if you have an iPhone, click the iPhone. If you have an Android, click the Android. So I'm going to click on the iPhone final expense. And it's going to ask me to download it from the, um, the app store. Since I already have it downloaded, I'm just going to hit open. And for those of you that are doing it for the first time, you're going to type in the password when you click to open it, it's going to ask for the password. So here is, um, here's what it looks like. This is the final expense. So um, let's click on age. I'm going to enter birth date 60. Um, you can pick your state. You have Ohio. Let's take a male, and then you put in their height and weight. So this is really great because it's already embedded in here, the height and weight charts. So let's say he's 175. And then notice that last question, and this question only shows up for age 60 and above. Have you had a medical consultation within the last five years, right? And so it's defaulted to no. And you can see at the bottom, remember I said there are like three different ratings of products, Elite, Select, and Advantage. Elite and Select are the full benefit programs where the benefits are available from day one. And then the Advantage program is if they're extra sick and um, they can only do the graded benefit product. Okay, so your question should be, Alex, how do I know which one I should quote? Okay, well, I'm glad you asked that question. Now notice most people will already have had a consultation. When you click on yes, then all three are green. So it says that Elite is the best rated product. They can still get Elite. Now, here's the question, but Alex, I have this client that has all these medications. How do I know what I'm going to write them? Well, that's why I like this tool because click on the next at the bottom of the um, then click on next, it takes you to, voila, the medication 
um, search engine. <laughs> so this is really cool. So all you got to do is go to that search bar at the top and type in their medications. So let's start with Losartan for high blood pressure. Losartan hydrochlorothorazide. So what you want to do is you want to click on that gray box to check it. Whoops. Notice, I checked it, and at the bottom, all three are still green, which means if that's all that this client's taking, then they can get elite, okay? But let's add in another one. So let's go up to the search bar, keep Losartan potassium checked, because this is more additive. We accumulate all their medications, so we'll see if the combination is still acceptable. So let's click the X to erase what's in there, and let's um, say that this client's diabetic and they're taking metformin. So metformin, say metformin HCL. So you click on that box. So now you have both losartan and metformin chosen. And then you look at the bottom and they still can get the elite product, right? So let's add a third one on there. Let's say they're taking warfarin as a blood thinner. So warfarin. So let's say warfarin sodium. So when you click on that checkbox, notice you got two questions that come up because they want to know why they're taking warfarin. So this is trying to drill down to more details so they can be fairly accurate when you quote what you're going to quote the client. So the first question is related to the client have a stroke which drew, drove the need to prescribe this product or is it the second question is it treating chest pain, angina, yes or no? So let's say the person got prescribed because of the stroke, but not because of angina. Then click done. And notice, look what happened. They're not eligible for the immediate benefit programs, elite and select, but they still can get Advantage, which is the graded benefit product, all right? But let's go back and click on that box again where it says warfarin sodium. Just click on the, the longer button box. And let's switch the answers. Let's say no to stroke, yes to angina, then click done. Now you'll notice there's no change, is there, for those rates. They're still, they can still only get advantage. So let's click it one more time, warfarin, and let's click no for both. Click done. Let's say they're taking warfarin temporarily to, to clear a blood clot, right? Well, they're not taking it for angina. They're not taking it for stroke. That just means that they're good to go with elite. So that's kind of how you know, and you'd be fairly accurate with the underwriting of the whole life um, because you typed in their medications. Okay, so all you got to do is click on next at the bottom. And since they can get Classic Elite, click on Classic Elite. And then you can put in all the parameters on here, like face amount. Let's say they're looking for you know, 25,000. Um, they're non-tobacco, no accidental death benefit. So you can see that 113.27 is the monthly program for them, OK? So you know, if you want to drop it to 15, 15. Oh, excuse me. I'm sorry, man. Uh, we got to get done because let's see how long I can go. 69.36 a month. So there you go. So it's pretty simple and I really like it because uh, it, it really helps you with the underwriting of it. Okay. And what, what to quote them. Okay. So that is that. So now let's go and do um, the term one. So click on the same Thing. I'm going to click on iPhone, and since I already have it, I'm going to click on open. Now, the term doesn't have an underwriting thing because it's, it's very specific. I mean, the rules are much more stringent than the whole life. So this is where you use the CFT underwriting guide and the product guide to help you with whether or not the client can fit into this, okay? But... When I use this app, I always want to take off because the 50% return of premium rider you see at the middle is, is automatically chosen as a default. 
So I'd like to take that off and go non-ROP. Then I'd like to drop the, the term down to 15 years. Because what that does is it opens up the age ranges that I can quote. So if you go to the age, notice it says allowable age 18 to 65. So again, let's put in that 60-year-old dude on here. Let's say he's not tobacco. Um, we took the ROP off of it. Um, let's, we're just limiting it to 15 years now. Monthly EFT. So let's type in the face amount. Let's say it's 250,000 for 15 years, non-return of premium. It's 296.02 per month. And that's a level benefit through the rest of their lives. Okay. So it's pretty straightforward. Let's say you want to add 50% return of premium. You just click on 50% return of premium. And notice up right away it says age out of range. So it says allowable age now says to 55. So the 60-year-old couldn't do return of premium, even if they wanted to. But let's put 55-year-old in there. And for 250000 they get all their money back. It goes up to 33667 See that? See that at the top, and so three thirty six sixty seven per month. Then at the end, they'll get fifty percent of the return of premium at the end of twenty years. Okay, and you can see that there's no fifteen year option. That's right, there is none. This this quoting tool only lets you do what you can do. Okay, so that's how you do the term. I think the max is two fifty. Yeah. It says here 250 is the maximum. But I also have a client that has a million dollar home. Well, we're going to have to do something different for that person, okay? Because we're going to have to go fully underwritten. And our fully underwritten product is Forrester's Your Term. And, you know, we'll teach you how to do that one. But in general, we try to keep it affordable for our clients. And what you'll find with mortgage protection leads is that. Um, the mortgage protection leads, seniors are getting mortgages. So maybe a third to a half sometimes in a batch of direct mail mortgage leads, they're going to be old people, okay? And I can say that because I are an old person. <laughs> anyway, so let's talk about the electronic. Um, oh, forgot to do Great Western. So let me show you where the Great Western is on the quoting tool. And this also is the way you do their electronic application as well. So, so we did CFG, let's show you um, Great Western. Oh man, I am, I am fading. I can't fade and I don't have any coffee, man. I just have water. I'm bummed. Okay, so Great Western. It, okay, so Great Western is going to have a new quoting tool that you can put put up on a website. So when you're in your smartphone and you click on here quotes. Okay, if I can find my cursor, you click on quotes. It's going to open up the web. I believe it's going to open the web page to do the quotes. But right now, when you do the quotes, it's going to ask you to download the My Enroller software. Okay. So I'm, I'm in. Okay. I wish it didn't just log me in because you have to, you have to create a profile. In fact, let me show you what does that look like. I don't want you to get all faked out here. Let me show you what that looks like.
Ah, man. Let me just tell you, I don't want to go waste any more time doing that. When you get, you're going to have to log into your um, Great Western, and it's going to ask you to set up a new profile. So when you set up a new profile to get to be able to log in, the first, the prerequisite that you need is to have done the contracting process. And so the contracting process gets submitted to Great Western. So that's kind of how they know you're somewhat official. When you fill out the profile to be able to log into this, into their agent page, excuse me, um, you have to, it, you're going to type in your username, your password that you want to use, um, all this information, and then you click, and then it's going to take that information to the main server, check if you've got your contracting paperwork in, and then it's going to issue that username and password. Then you're able to log in with that username and password, and then you get to this page right here, which is the quoting page. So you can quote that, you know, let's take a 60-year-old male um, state of, not that the state ever matters, really doesn't matter. You know, and then you click on final expense. And then click on next. Then you've got monthly, quarterly, semi-annual, annual, annual payment method, bank traffic, credit card. So let's take a face amount of 25,000. Okay, this is guaranteed issue, remember. So this is a graded benefit program. And then there's two types of policies um, guaranteed Assurance or Assurance Plus. Assurance Plus has like three underwriting questions that if they can pass those three underwriting questions, then they're going to get 25% more death benefit for the same amount of monthly premium, okay? Um, but let's say it's Guaranteed Assurance, which is the straight up guaranteed issue whole life product. And then if you go get quote, You see the premium here is 184.16 a month. Okay. So that is how you do the quoting tool using the My Enroller. Okay. And then begin eApp. So this is getting into electronic application. Okay. Oh, here it is. <laughs> well, I'm glad it showed you how to do. So when I when you type click on register, you get to put in your login, your first name, last name, your social, last four, your social. Oh, I guess your entire social, your email, password that you want to use, strength, and then I agree to the terms. Click submit, and then it'll um, allow you to log in with your new credentials, okay? So you log in, okay? And so this is the main agent support page. So in order to download the My Enroller on your computer, you click on My Enroller Final Expense. You click on this icon right here. And then it allows you to either download it on your laptop by clicking the install button right here, or you can click the install on your iPad and it'll install the, um, the product there. And then it has download instructions, user guides and everything to use the My Enroller um, program, okay? Now, like I said, they're gonna have this available to be run just purely on a web browser, which is really cool. It'll give you more flexibility. Notice it doesn't say does not say Macintosh or App, Apple, <laughs> Apple Mac or whatever. Okay, um, it's just an iPad or a PC, laptop or or computer. So let's go back to. Um, so so let's show you what does this tool look like. Okay, so I'm going to bring up what that tool looks like. Once you, have, once you have my enroller up, um, 
I should have had it. It's like a little briefcase. It's a little briefcase on your desktop. I swear, I just brought this up last week. This is really odd. Wine roller. Okay, it's coming up. All right. So when you pull it on your lap on your laptop or your iPad, this is what it looks like, okay? And then you just log in what your you know regular login is. Click login. <laughs> Seriously. Man, it was auto-populated. Okay. This is really cool because if you don't have web website access, then um, you can write the client if you have no internet, and then it'll sync the information with the main office later. So you choose your state, Ohio, your agent number. So if you're also contracted with Medico, you're going to have Medico agent number and Great Western because this is the same company, basically. So you click on Great Western, and then your agent number pops in. Uh, what zip code are you writing the client in? And that's really doesn't mean anything for the lifestyle, but it does mean something for um, the Medico um, products. And then mail, click on mail. Um, geez, I'm sorry. Yeah, I got it. This happened before too. I don't know why it went silent there. So hopefully you guys can see that. Then date of birth, let's say it's 10, 26, 1960. Okay. So once you have all that, click on start new. So it means start new quote. And then this is the part that's just not intuitively obvious. So you want to write Great Western Insurance Company final expense, you have to click on this box. Now, you tell me, where does it say that? It doesn't say that. Okay, it finally says must make a selection, but you got to click on it to open it up, basically. Okay. And then what face amount? Say so it's 10,000 um, guaranteed assurance. Uh, and then notice the monthly you know, monthly bank draft, it's 75.41. Golly, it did it again, didn't it? That is really weird. <laughs> okay, like I said, you got to know to check mark this thing, and it just doesn't tell you. It's really weird. Anyway, but the electronic signature process is really awesome, super simple. 
So guaranteed assurance, seventy-five forty-one a month. There you go. Okay. So now you've got the quote. You can go right into the electronic application here by clicking on next. Okay, and then this is where you start filling out the application. Okay, and once you fill that out, you can go to the next button and the next button until you do the signature, unless it's right here, I think. Or it's on the next page. Anyway, um, I have a more detailed video that shows me filling this out and taking you to the end. Okay, so that's the Great Western Quoting Tool and Electronic Application. Let's go show you where the electronic application looks like for um, here it is. How about foresters for us people in New York? Oh, yeah, foresters. Yeah, foresters. Okay. So, um, Well, let me um, let me do Columbia Financial Group because we really haven't gone on to those electronic applications and I'll show you Foresters. So the electronic application for Columbia Financial Group, you can click on Begin eApp. Okay, and this is where you got to put your PIN number. Okay, so. Confirm identity. Okay, then you click on login. <laughs> Sometime soon. There you go. Okay, and then to start the new electronic application, you click on this new e-app. Okay, choose the state. Now you're only gonna see the states that you have a, a resident license and non-resident license. So if you don't see your state in here that you want to write, but you know you're contracted in the, or licensed in that state, then call CFG and they'll fix it. And then that state will show up. I have no idea why they do it like this, but that's how they do it. So I'm going to pick Ohio and then hover over which product you want to do, final expense or simplified as you term. So you highlight final expense then click on create and then you're good, you're in. And what I like about this is that all the knockout questions are at the beginning. So if they answer a question that knocks them out, you have a chance to do the guaranteed issue right away without wasting a lot of time. All the other carriers require you to put their, their name and their birth date and their address and their phone numbers and all that stuff and you, you know, maybe you spent 15, 20 minutes on that, and then you get to the health questions and discover that they're not eligible for the product, and you wasted, you know, 15 to 20 minutes of time, which is really frustrating, right? So I like that they ask it all up front, then you answer all the questions, you fill out this information, and then this next button lights up, which takes you to the next page. So you can see here on the left, every subsequent page that you complete properly and in good order, you're gonna earn a check mark, a green check mark. And so you just go through each, each page and then you get to the electronic signature. So the electronic signature is an important document and it's not gonna be on the Alliance website. Okay, you're not gonna see it under the Columbia Financial Group Carrier page because the Alliance doesn't want you to do telesales, okay? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's not on here. 
They want you to do in-home sales. I want you to do what you want to do, okay? It's not they don't want you to. They just don't want to encourage you if you can book an appointment in the home. So I have it on my post bootcamp webpage, completing the e-app on a client. The telesale procedure guide is right here. So once you get to the part where you can do the telesale signature, you have to follow the telesale procedure guide. It's a very simple, really basically a three page document. This teaches you exactly what you got to do. It gives you the phone number you got to dial in to start the recording. Then it goes into the exact script that you need to read to the client so they can respond to it. And this serves as the signature. Okay, really it's two pages, this page and this page. So read through it and practice it before you get with the client. But this is so much easier than the email debacle that you'd run into with most of our other carriers, all right? So that, you gotta follow this, and you gotta read through it and make, don't make it like the first time in front of your client, you know, that you do it. So the telesale procedure guide is mega important to get done to do an electronic application. So there you go. The simplified issue term looks very similar. Okay, you go back, new e-app, hover over simplified issue term, make sure you choose your state properly, then click on create, boom. It looks the same, virtually the same thing. Follow the same telesale procedure guide and all is good, okay. All right, so that's CFG getting to the electronic app and the quoting tools. So let's go to Forrester's. So this, these are from my buddies in New York. So the quoting tool for Forrester's is also on the AllianceQuoting.com. And Forrester's, you can do desktop software, but I recommend doing the mobile quote online because it's just a web page. Okay, so the term product is strong foundation. Okay. And you just put all that stuff in, get quote, right? It's pretty simple. And then the whole life is plan right. So you click on plan right, and this gives you the quote for the whole life, all right, for foresters. Okay. Now for the Forrester's underwriting guidelines, again, it's exactly the same going to carriers, Forrester's. You got the product guide, state approvals, all the videos. So there is strong foundation is the term and plan right is the whole life, okay? So it has plan right training. If you go to view more, you've got all the plan right. So I would just stick with plan right and strong foundation. Now, how you get into the electronic application, again, you go to Forrester's, which we were at, <laughs> then begin EAP now. So they use the IGO pipeline. So you got to start a new case and then put the insured's name. Okay, and then you can pick either one, term or whole life. So let's choose term find available products, it's strong foundation term. Oh, this is New York, I'm sorry, let's go to New York. It's a little bit different in New York. Okay, so in New York, it's not called strong foundation, it's called strong, your term medical 
or non-medical. So your term medical is exactly like strong foundation in all the other states. It's just because New York's crazy, okay? So click on non-medical. There is a medical version of it. So if you have to do fully interwritten with blood and urine to get them a cheaper rate, you can use your term for that. Okay, so this is, you know, all the boilerplate information. Okay, then you click on next and then it steps you through as a replacement defined, not a replacement. Okay, and notice each page gets you a green check mark. I'm not even reading these and God only knows. <laughs> Click on next. Okay, so <laughs> okay, so here's what I'm getting at. We haven't even talked about the underwriting questions yet. It's going to take you through 15 minutes, 20 minutes of this, and then it gets to the underwriting questions where you discover the client. But look, you're you're in New York, man. So this is all you got, and um, it's not bad. It's not a bad product by any means. Okay, not saying that. Okay, so that is the, um, to get into the electronic application. For the term, let's get into the electronic application for the whole life. By the way, um, it's not this process. So this is where we, we get complicated again. In order to do the plan right e-app, you got to go to my business e-apps. Then you got Forrester's plan right tele app. Okay. So this has all the e-apps, but this can get real. Like I said, once you know all the different products, this page is the page I would go to to get to the electronic application. But this is the only page where you can do the plan right whole life application. And I'm hoping I'm still authorized to get into it. Okay, I am. Oh my gosh, I gotta change my password, seriously. Okay, the Forrester's plan right application. Well, I don't even know if we're talking about this for the state of New York. New York doesn't allow electronic applications. You have to do a paper application and get a wet signature. Um, for those of you that have to do Forrester's plan right, it's the optical process. It requires a phone interview at point of sale. So um, you click on application, new application, and then you just go through everything, okay? The product is, well, let's go. The company is Forrester's Financial. The product is their only product, which is plan right with an e-signature, state, Ohio. That's interesting, because I, I didn't really pick a state. Let's see if I can do New York. Yeah, I don't think New York's on here. Yeah. Yeah, because you can't do electronic applications in New York. Now, if you're in New York writing electronic application in the state of New Jersey, then you can do plan right. Okay, so you can do the rate calculator and then you just 
start marching through this application process. And then it's a point of sale telephone interview. So you do telephone interview and then you get this done. So this is, it's a little convoluted. <laughs> it just is. I mean, the Forrester's strong foundation using the IGO I pipeline process requires an electronic or a um, email signature. Okay. And I'd recommend you doing it with the client because it's convoluted. It's just hard. So you have to click and help the client click through it, turn off their pop-up blocker, make sure that when they open up in their email, they can view the documents in the proper order. Okay. So now if you're doing telesales with Foresters, well, again, New York, you can't do telesales. You have to do the electronic, you have to do the live app process. All right. So that was pretty, uh, oh gosh, it's already 11.04. Um, there you go. So did that answer your question uh, on, I'm usually done at 10.30. <laughs> yeah, it certainly did, Alex, but uh, I don't think I'll be using my New York light. I'm glad I have 13 lights and 12 licenses. Yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't. It's crazy, dude. It's, it's, I'm like, I'm, I got a straight headache. You, you and me both. You and me both, brother. <laughs> Seriously, I wouldn't like limit myself with New York. I would write elsewhere because you have all the carriers. You have, you, know, you can just stick with CFG and Great Western. You can, so, um, <laughs> okay. All right, Haley. Sounds good, man. I'm glad I convinced you. I'm not against foresters, okay, by the way, but man, it's not something that a brand new person wants to do right off the bat. All right. That's so. very difficult. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. All right. But I'm up for the challenge. <laughs> no, really, I mean, I am, I, I do want to help everyone. So, uh, okay. That, I think I've done everything I could tonight. Um, Thank you for um, your time and attention. I'm going to make this video available tomorrow. Plug into our agency call tomorrow at 11 a.m. Eastern. Um, again, email Ginny, Ginny at naarocks.com. It's rocks, not rocks on, naarocks.com, that you were here. And then um, get through that, um, the next little bit on the uh, post bootcamp page. Then, man, we want to get leads in your hands ASAP. Okay. So, you know, get through it, follow the recommendations I make on there. And if you ever, ever, ever feel frustrated, lonely, um, don't know what to do next, please call me no matter what time, except for the times I said I'm in church or I'm sleeping, but call me, call me, call me, call me. And we don't want you to feel frustrated and depressed and don't know what to do. Okay. I'm here to help. I want to help you. I want you to make money. I want you to just blow this thing up, all right? So anyway, thanks, everybody, for plugging in. I appreciate you. I'm sorry I went long, but um, it was good that we did that last part. <laughs> Honestly, I'm so glad. Hi, Lee. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay, everybody. God bless everybody. Take care. Thanks for plugging in. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye now.